integers, opposites, and absolute value. This is a digital lesson. And before you start your integers unit, or as you're starting it, you want to go over opposites and absolute value with your students. Integers are whole numbers and their opposites. The opposite of a whole number on the number line, it's a number that's equal distance from zero, but on the opposite side of zero. So it asks the students to just type in what is the opposite of eight, and they're going to type in negative eight. Here's another vocabulary term. The opposite is also called the additive inverse. And then you introduce absolute value. Absolute value is the distance of a number from zero on the number line. It's always a positive value. So all of these numbers have the same absolute value, five and negative five, four and negative four, and so on. And then it asks the students to type in what's the absolute value of negative nine, it's nine. So then students are just going to fill in the absolute value of all of these integers. And they're all going to be the positive version of that number. The next slide has students looking at words that they're going to see in real life. So they're going to move these into the correct column as to whether they represent positive or negative. So they're going to click and hold on the edge of the word. Withdrawal would be negative representing negative numbers, deposit, positive, and so on. Then we're going to give the students some real life situations, and they're going to type in the integer that represents each of these. So diving below the surface would be a negative number. Above zero as temperature would be positive, and so on. Now students are going to move these red circles, so these are movable, into the correct place to show the opposite. So here they're going to show 7 and its opposite. So they click and hold on the circle. They're going to place the first one at 7 and its opposite, which would be negative 7. And they've got three more to do that with. Now this one's a little tricky, so you want to make sure students understand the instructions. They're given a real life situation and they have to type an integer that represents the opposite of that situation. So a deposit of $35, since that's positive, the opposite would be negative 35. So it makes them think a little bit about each one of these and what an opposite means. The very last slide has students moving these terms into the correct place in sentence frames. So it's just a review of everything they've just learned Integers and whole number are whole numbers and their opposites, and they're just going to click and hold on the edge and move that into place. And they're going to do the same with the other terms. So this is a digital lesson, integers, opposites, and absolute value.